I am Pranab Mohanty. I am IPS officer born on Karnataka Kada. Currently, I am posted as Additional Commissioner of Police Crime for Bangalore City. And my work generally comprises uh, prevention, detection, prosecution, and surveillance of uh, crime and crime related matters. And uh, I have been in this uh, job for the last two years. Well, I must confess that uh, GIS, uh, as of now, is an evolving concept in uh, policing, though it has been in practice for quite some time, prevalent in currency, I must say, in the West. But in our country, some of the places have already started with GIS. Bangalore is just about starting out with uh, the concept of GIS mapped or GIS based uh, crime modeling. And I hope this one uh, takes off really in the immediate future. Look, crime analysis is a subject that is tailor-made, almost made for uh, GIS mapping. I mean, the possibilities of uh, analyzing crime in any way you like through GIS are endless. You can look at uh, crime heat maps, which will show you what kind of crime is happening where and what is the intensity of that crime. You can look at uh, deployment maps in which you can deploy the police forces according to the kind of crimes hap happening there. In some areas, there might be more burglaries than uh, chain snatchings or muggings. In other areas, the muggings might be more than uh, chain snatchings. In third, in third areas, in areas other than these, there might be more accidents. So if you look at these, the kind of police forces that we will deploy can easily be determined. That way, you end up uh, saving uh, scarcely available human resources in the policing or, or technical resources. For instance, if we find that uh, crime is intense in an area and not so intense in, the, in another area, we can take a, an informed decision to post more police uh, patrols or more uh, or uh, the cheetahs or the vaisalas as we call our patrolling vehicles there. We can improve upon the patrolling beats as well. We can, we can simply post uh, more forces there till the crime rate there goes down. And one more thing that uh, GIS based modeling of crime allows us to do is an analyze the patterns of crime according to geographical area, time, day, Say, for instance, burglaries, we'll, we'll see that burglaries are happening more on weekends when people have left their quarters uh, or their uh, residence for, the, uh, for, for going outside. Then maybe we can identify those areas time-wise and day-wise and post more people there. And in fact, one more thing that is also possible is the typical modus of crime, the way the crime is, met the methodology of crime also can be identified through GIS. In this, we could say, for instance, uh, analyze through GIS and find out through maps that uh, burglaries have happened for the past week only along the highways or uh, chain snatchings have happened along a particular road, then that shows gang behavior. That is a particular gang which is moving around, which is familiar with the area. Maybe we can read more into the situation and find out what kind of uh, gang that might be, whether somebody was released from prison, whether there are these old uh, criminals who have come back into the life of crime and uh, they're following similar methodologies. If GIS is followed for some period of time, then we can, we can superpose uh, old GIS maps onto the new ones and find out if the patterns are matching with, uh, between the old and new. That itself will give us clues. Again, the movement of criminals uh, through their uh, cell phone analysis can also be patterned on GIS. If we get the details of uh, how their call detail records uh, are patterned on a GIS format on a map, then we can find out where they are moved and whether these, these, these movements are coinciding with the crimes that have happened. If they do, then we know that uh, there's a large possibility that this particular individual or gang might have done it. So the possibilities, as I said, for uh, crime prevention, detection, crime analysis, surveillance, are endless as far as uh, GIS is concerned. And crime analysis is built, crime data analytics are built for uh, GIS type modeling. IIHS has been one of the leaders in uh, counseling on GIS, and that's no secret. I mean, generally, the uh, fact that IIHS uh, holds courses are, uh, uh, is something that is very well known. Uh, we know it uh, through, the, through our own uh, circle of friends who have attended earlier. IIHS has been involved with the government in a couple of partnerships uh, in different fields other than uh, policing and crimes. So it's, it's but natural that uh, at some point of time, IIHS and the police come together.
very skilled and uh, professional. And then generally, then really they walk you through the course quickly, effectively, because we are government servants. We don't have that much of time. I'm sure the same thing holds for the private people as well. And uh, they do tend to let you know the, the meta details, as, details as, as we may say. So knowing that, you can work out the more granular details for yourself on your desktop or on your own machine without uh, recourse to any further kind of tutorials or something like that. To that extent, IIHS has structured its courses wonderfully well around a limited period of time. I would, I would, especially at the lower levels uh, in, the, in the police hierarchy, it, it, is, uh, it is good that uh, these people learn the essentials of GIS uh, uh, structured around the course of uh, IIHS or uh, with some hand-holding by the IIHS. We'd like to see more of GIS in, in uh, crime analysis and crime data analytics and uh, more, pe more and more people down the line getting aware of this. It's not a difficult uh, thing to master. Software is available, uh, freely available on the net, on the web. And the way to manipulate this data is, is beautifully expounded by the IIHS people. So it's not really difficult. So if more and more people join in, the awareness grows. We'd like IIHS to do some more hand-holding hand as far as the police department is concerned and law enforcement is concerned. We'd like IIHS to start its uh, courses on a regular basis instead of episodic. It should be regular so that people can join in on a off and on basis. Whenever they have the time, they can just hop out and hop in when they want because there is the nature of uh, duties that the police do. It might be difficult for them to, you know, devote seven days or ten days at a, t at a time. If the courses, courses are regular, IIHS, in the, in the form of a uh, regular curriculum, then they can just hop in and uh, walk in and uh, walk out at their convenience. It becomes easier, more manipulable.